Hello everyone, I am so excited to do this video. I love talking about cam and if you didn't know, my name is Lydia Love. I'm the owner of IGF Studio, which is a webcam studio where we help models build their careers. We give them the tools that they need to kind of get a jump start in this industry that can be super overwhelming. And it's been a really long time since I've posted an advice video on here and I've been kind of brainstorming what I want to do because I love posting free advice. I love helping other models out, even models who aren't with my studio, um, but I just haven't had the time to post the videos recently. So what I'm doing is I'm creating an IGF Studio YouTube account that will be down below. I might try to find a way to like have something pop up here, but if you would like to go into the description of this video, you can find the IGF YouTube channel. And that is where I will be posting my cam advice videos. I'm still going to be posting on here as usual, but for like advice heavy videos, they're going to be on that channel. So what I wanted to do today, I'm sorry guys, I'm just really excited, um, is I wanted to tell you guys seven things that I wish that I knew before I started camming. And there's going to be a part two to this, but it's going to be on the IGF Studio YouTube channel. So if you go in the description, I'll link that as well. So I actually have 14 or 15 different things that I wanted to share, but only seven are going to be in this video. The other seven are in the other video. So definitely go check that out. I'll be uploading them at the same time. The number one thing, and this is going to sound really silly because you're going to think fucking obviously, Lydia, like this is the same for any career. Just, just listen to me, okay? Consistency really matters. It really fucking matters. And there's been times in my cam career where I try to convince myself that it doesn't and I tell myself I can take three weeks off and then I can just log back on and everything's sweet. No. Unfortunately not. Are you are you going to be able to have some fans that are excited to see you? Yes, but if you're trying to build a long-term cam career, you need some sort of consistency, which is why for my studio we have a 10-hour minimum. That is like the bare minimum it takes to maintain your career, and that's not even what I really recommend if you want to grow your career fast. So consistency really matters. Um, I think I'm going to talk about this in the part two video but it's really important to log on around the same time as well so that you build a fan base at that time number one consistency okay number two have a clean room and have a clean work environment this one might also seem like a no-brainer to you and i'm not judging any cam models like my first streams were in a basement with a mountain of dirty laundry behind me like my other first streams were in a motel six with that bright ass orange wall like i'm one to speak about having a clean environment like i'm sure if you zoom in far enough on my first streams you can find a fucking cockroach crawling down the wall of that motel six okay i get it i get it what i mean by this is no matter where you are in your career make sure that your space looks clean at least i lived in the dirtiest places the dirtiest apartments all i had was a mattress on my floor but once I realized that it really is important to have a clean environment, I feel like my income like doubled. And this can be as simple as if you have a pillow behind you and there's no pillowcase on it, go put that pillowcase on it or move the pillow. If you have a mountain of laundry, maybe just like push it to the side or put something over it. Um, if there is something that just does not look right and doesn't look like clean and fresh, definitely I recommend move it out of frame. Even if you need to move to a little corner of your room and just have it faced right there because that's the clean part, I get it. I've had, damn, when my depression was bad, my rooms were messy and I would just be stuck to one little corner. So having a clean room and a clean environment really, really matters. Number three, get an external webcam. I, I know, I know. I started on a Google Chromebook, like you know the ones that they give schools for free? Yeah, or get, they give you at school for free. I started on that webcam and it was awful. I might try to find like a screenshot of it. This was back in 2016. Um, the videos still exist. The internet's forever. So <laughs> they're still out there. And I'm not embarrassed by it, but it's really funny to see like how far I've come. Um, definitely invest in a external webcam. People have been asking me to make like an Amazon list of things that I recommend buying. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know and maybe I will put time into that. Um, and maybe I can do like a video on the IGF studio of like my essential items or webcams that I recommend, but really just get an external webcam. I know it's an investment. You can do it. I promise. I promise. And the site that my studio uses and that I use, they actually boost you if you have a better like webcam. I, 
don't ask me anything about tech stuff but if you have like a better resolution i don't know someone help me in the comments down below but external webcam number four are we on number four get good lighting just do it whether you can't afford lighting and you need to stream only in daytime in front of a window do it it's not worth it to log on if your lighting is shit and they can barely see you and it looks dark and they don't even know what they're looking at and they they have no idea like what they're seeing there are simple ring lights i mean if you live by a what is the place called is it called big five or no that's the sporting goods place five below <laughs> fuck five below they have ring lights they literally have ring lights for five dollars and under and i've used them from five below before and they are just fine Amazon, I mean, if you already have a following on like Twitter or other places and you just want to say like, I really want to start camming, can you please get me this ring light? I'm sure someone out there is down to be your knight in shining armor and he will get you that ring light. So get good lighting, get good lighting, get good lighting. My favorite kind of lighting for cam is three point lighting. If you don't know what that is, look into it. Maybe like I said, I can do a video on it on the other channel, but get good lighting. I mean, right now, well, I just blinded myself by looking up at it, but I'm just using a light off of Amazon and the lighting isn't like the most incredible, but you can see me enough. This is good lighting for cam. Number five, get interactive toys. Ugh. I know a lot of what I'm saying to you is like, sounds like spend money, spend money, spend money. I'm not saying that you have to do this like all before you start. I actually don't recommend that. I recommend that you get the bare minimum, you know, find some good lighting get that webcam and then anything else can be extra um but as soon as you possibly can get that interactive toy the reason why people are watching you versus going and watching free stuff is because they want that human interaction and these toys just accelerate that so much if you don't know what i'm talking about um i mean i have like three of them sitting right here i don't think i'm gonna i'm not gonna grab them but i have the lush i have the vibrating nipple clamps i have the vibrating like thrusting one i have the butt toy i have the fiber like i have i'm obsessed with this brand but i will say the one that's like essential that you should get before anything and honestly the only one that's really like super necessary is the lush i keep looking over there because i'm trying to remember the names of them but the lush the levin's lush is incredible for money making and you need to promote the shit out of it it needs to always be in your room topic hashtag lush you have the lush tip to make me vibrate it's incredible. Um, the studio and myself actually has an affiliate link for Lovins and they gave this to me years ago and I still use it when I buy my own stuff from that site. So if you want to go down below, I have the link to Lovins and it's our affiliate link. Obviously not required that you guys need to use my link, but I would seriously appreciate it so much. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to use and it gives me a percentage of the sales. I don't make any money off of my YouTube channel. So if you enjoy this advice, that's a way that you can help for free. Interactive toys, interactive toys, interactive toys until the day I die. Um, number six, this one you guys might be happy to hear. You don't need to spend a bunch of money on outfits. You can wear what you feel hot in. I could log on just like this and maybe I wouldn't make as much money or have as much viewers as if I was completely naked. Um, but you do not have to spend a bunch of money. I have had incredible days where I go in my closet and I find a pair of leggings and I find a sports bra and I log on and I do just fine versus whenever I invest a bunch of money into lingerie. Obviously have some key essential pieces, but you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on your cam wardrobe. Like really, I mean, I reuse stuff all the time. There's days where I wear like the same long socks two days in a row. And at this point, honestly, the amount of lingerie that I have is a burden. Some places I recommend is obviously Amazon. Um, if you go to Forever 21, usually they have sales on their stuff. Forever 21 is pretty good. Yandy.com is pretty good. And that's what I would say about the lingerie department. Number, which one should I do for number seven? Hmm. I think for number seven, I'm going to say get an ethernet cable. And if you have a laptop that doesn't have the ethernet plug in, get the little like extension dongle thing. Ethernet cables will save your life because having a good Wi-Fi connection is the most essential part of being a camp model. If you have a terrible connection, you're not going to get the viewers or the money or the interaction that you want. Get that ethernet cable. Look into it. Like I said, I'm not very tech savvy. All I know is get that ethernet. Um, I think that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and film the part two so I can upload these on the same day. And you guys can just go from here to the other one and go support that new page. 
but I'm super excited for that one. I'm going to have some models with my studio post on that, and there's just going to be a bunch of good resources on there. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I hope that you found value in this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Make sure to follow the studio. Follow the studio. Follow me. Um, apply if you'd like to join the studio, and okay, that's all.